everyone and welcome to your All Signs reading. Before we start, I would like All Signs Weekend Vibes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Before we start, let's uh, say thanks. I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light, for guiding us to get an accurate reading on the table today for all our signs for the weekend. Thank you. If you'd like your readings, darlings, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. So, old signs, <laughs> weekend vibes, let's see what's going on with you. Yes, and we shall begin. Just give me a minute. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> right. So let us begin. Today we're using Archangel Michael and for protection candle which is black. Right? And um, right. <clears throat> Let's begin, shall we? Where's the cards for the weekend? Yeah. All signs weekend. Sorry, I've been burning my fingers today, creating some new ones. I've uh, got some new formulas and I was working on it, so there you go. Dexter's at work in his laboratory. <laughs> yes. So give me a minute, let me shuffle the cards one last time. <clears throat> and we shall begin. Today's incense is wood, wood, okay? So I'm using wood, wood chips as today's incense. Oh, sorry, um, Bakur. There you go. Let's set that there. And let's begin. We shall, be, uh, we shall begin. What am I talking? There's so many things going through my head at the same bloody time. <clears throat> we shall start with Aquarius. So let's see what's in store for Aquarius. So Aquarius looks like this weekend there's a quick movement forward towards success. Yes, it's uh, in with regards to something you had invested your time, money and effort into. Okay, it was moving slow earlier, but now I can see it's going to be there's going to be a quick forward movement in that project, whatever it is, and it is going to be good news. It's going to be a success. Something over here is going to be a success. Okay, <clears throat> now in terms of love, I can see. Uh, you're going towards new, you're moving slowly, he, I think you're in the curiosity phase wherein you would like to know the person better, but you're definitely moving towards having a successful outcome with this person, meaning to say you do like this person and you wish to uh, let your intentions be known to this or thoughts be known to this person, you'd like to tell this person that you like them and you'd like to go out with them, etc, etc, you know how it goes. <clears throat> Give me a minute. Excuse me. I'm burning camphor as well around, so the room is really lovely. It's so positive in here, I can't tell you. You can just imagine. Mm. So, there you go. So let your friends help you with this task here. Yeah? So let, if you have a wingman or wingwoman, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, <laughs> you know, use them to your advantage, right? And um, said so you ask for and accept help from others. And you ask to trust in the situation. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You're called to have faith that this is going to go in your favor. Don't stress don't sweat so that was Aquarius 
now let's move on to the next sign i don't know when and how this is going to upload onto the youtube channel because the internet is very slow today there has been some work that has been uh, is being done god not again what was the words i used work that's being done so oh what's the next sign anyways so there's some work that's being done we've been told yes so there will be a downtime for the internet for a while. I think it's because of the elections that took place. Hmm. So, next sign is Pisces. Okay, this weekend you're going to make a judgment call that you want to reconcile with the person of the past. Yes, something was dead and gone for quite a while now. But you want to change that situation, that relationship, the way it was going. You want to change it and you want to take it to the next level. You're very passionate about this person and you wish to go towards this person or vice versa. Okay, this could be a soulmate relationship. There could have been a lot of trials and tribulations in this relationship. But now I think things are looking a bit different. Okay, so you wish to reconcile, rekindle your love with this person over the weekend. Mm. Looks like you're gonna have a cozy weekend, darling. Looks like we're gonna give it give this relationship a resuscitation. <laughs> what do you call that? Um, uh, see I even forgot the terminology. Anyways, so there's been a deception over here in this relationship, yeah, but this person is definitely worth waiting for. Someone over here was definitely wearing a false mask. Someone over here was pretending to be something but they're, that they're not and this and that and the other, you know. Deception can go many ways. It's not only about cheating, okay? So there you go, Pisces. Looks like you're going to have a cute, cozy weekend. A weekend of rekindling a romantic relationship. Mm. Isn't that lovely? Now let's go on to the next sign, which is Aries, and see what's going on with you for this weekend, darling. There you go. Let's take a look. Aries, you want to have a brand new start in this relationship, in love. Yes, you want... Uh, <coughs> To take a leap of faith towards this person perhaps there was a decision that needed to be made and um, I think it's time you're ready you're ready to settle down you're ready to have a home you're ready to you know propose to this person that or at least make your intentions known to this person that you really want to take it forward you want to take it to the next level and you're hoping that they take this leap forward with you too you do love this person this person is very stable secure you know, they're a homemaker and you feel very warm towards them. You have a, you harbor very warm feelings towards this person, okay? Warm feelings of love. So Aries says here, forgiving and learning and honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday, the bliss of holiday time together. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there you go. So the more... You heal and release, darling. The more, the lesser the resentment you harbor, the lesser the doubt, fear, etc., etc. All the negative thoughts will go away, right? So that's the whole idea behind releasing, behind forgiving and learning from the experience in order to push you forward. So the moment you do that, darling, you see how things are going to change for the better in the positive and perhaps there's going to be a lot of rekindling or you all will take this relationship, obviously to the next level so that was Aries let's go on to Taurus darlings let's see now what's going on with Taurus <coughs> give me a minute I'm trying to do something here and I'm looking for something Yes, here it is. <clears throat> okay, that's settled. 
So now let's move on to Taurus and see what's going on with Taurus for the weekend. Okay, looks like you're sitting in some kind of regrets over here, Taurus. Your looks like uh, you have a lot of gift towards somebody, but this person, perhaps that you're dealing with, <coughs> uh, could be demanding something from you. Probably some kind of clarity. Yes, but uh, uh, at the moment you are probably a bit emotional about this whole situation that went down. But nonetheless, you're of the higher suit, so you're a king and a queen. Uh, there's a few regrets that you may have of some things that may have happened in the past. Yes, and you wish this relationship could take a new direction. Yes. You're also looking forward to travel towards this person, yeah, to have a chat with this person, to talk to this person, to love this person. Yes. And uh, I think you're in a waiting mode at the moment because uh, there's some things you regret over in the past that you've done or that has happened rather. Okay, over here it's saying retreat, it's time to disconnect yourself from the world and this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek. So there is somebody you have met already or you were in a relationship with, yes that is the one and you're thinking about them a lot, it is because now Venus is going to go direct darling, ooh Taurus, so the right one is going to pull your heartstrings whether it's in the present future or past you will feel the energy and this is a very overpowering energy which you can do nothing about but you will have to surrender to it yes all right darling taurus that was your weekend now let's move on towards the next sign which is gemini is it yes gemini You won't believe the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius signs are still uploading. It's been almost a day. <laughs> and they're still uploading. Good God. Talk about uh, a snail trail, snail mail, whatever it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> as slow as possible. This is for the sign of Gemini. Okay, someone over here is walking away from a commitment, okay, but you're wanting to work on it. Yes, you're very much uh, feeling trapped. You, you have to make a decision. Yes, you have to make a decision of what uh, needs to be done, what needs to be the next step forward. Yes, and there's some kind of misunderstanding over here that could have gone down. Somebody over here is very frustrated with the other person because somebody over here could be very uh, stubborn, very stuck in their ways and uh, they're not open to discussion. So I would advise here that the person who is very stuck in their ways to be open to listen to the uh, to your partner or <clears throat> and take some advice, if at least not take the advice, at least listen, give a listening to you and look, uh, come across a bit compassionate to your partner, okay? It's not nice to be... Um, uh, you, 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 you all the time. Or me, 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 me all the time. You know what I mean? So, there's a bit of delays at the moment. I'd see money. Uh, if you all have made some investment, there's a bit of delay with money coming in. You are working hard though towards this plan that you have or towards this project or business that you have. But it, the money will come in. It's a bit of perhaps some of you are waiting for a loan to get through. Some of you are applying for a loan. Yes, to have a fresh injection of cash into your business. And you're worried about the outcome. You're worried you will not get the loan. But um, <clears throat> you'll have to wait and see. In terms of love life, you are... Advice over here, Gemini, to pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. And you also advised to release your ex because the time has come to clear your energy. So if there's anyone you're thinking about over here, yes, uh, it's time, especially in the ex, whoever is your ex, you need to release that person. 
because that person could be in your energy, could be in your thoughts, could 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 be, you know, appearing left, right, and center perhaps to you. So this could be a red flag that could be uh, posing as a blockage for you, yeah, in your monetary section. So be careful of uh, your mind and what you put in your mind. Yes, uh, make sure you take care of your garden. And that was your weekend reading, Gemini. Let's move on to the next sign, which is Cancer. So let's see what's going on for Cancer for the weekend. Let's see Cancer weekend. How is it going to go for you? Oh, oh, just give me a minute. Yes, let's see how the Cancer Weekend is going to go <coughs> forward. Oh, dear. <coughs> I will stick to the scientific explanation of all these uh, things flying around. <laughs> mm. My God, I'm such a scaredy cat. I was watching this movie. What's... What's the movie called? On oh, Netflix. Um, the House of Noise, I think that's the name. I was so scared, I even forgot about the name of the movie. See? I spent the whole movie yelling my head off. Hiding under the couch. <laughs> and I watch horror movies only during the daytime. <laughs> oh dear. So we are talking about cancer. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. <clears throat> so, Cancer, looks like you're holding back. Okay, from uh, something to do with a long term commitment uh, at the moment. Uh, you're working on your money, you're working on your stability. Okay, there's a lot of improvements coming in with regards to money. And as you're saving, you can see your money pile is growing. So, this is bringing you some kind of uh, joy and it's bringing you a lot of happiness and it's giving you that sense of comfort and stability okay there is more money coming your way because i think uh, you're concentrating towards for you're concentrating uh, on your relationship and you're concentrating on taking it long term okay because it seems like you have found somebody over here who is going to match well with you and you feel it's time you'll take it to the next level Yes, there's a promise of em emotional, complete emotional fulfillment and complete satisfaction. Overall, it's a very good read. So some of you looks like <clears throat> perhaps you'll be proposing to somebody or letting your intentions known to somebody over here who uh, you're very into on, intent on getting to know better and taking this to the next level. So let's see what's come here. Yes, playfulness, finances and career is what you received. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. And financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that is what you're doing. You're working on your finances. Okay. And uh, you're, <clears throat> you're going to be flirtatious with your person. You're going to be lighthearted and, uh, you know, have a bit of fun and uh, stop being so serious in life. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, Cancer looks like overall it's going to be a jolly good weekend for you. Let's go on to the next sign, which is Leo. Let's see what Leo is up to, really. My naughty lions, yeah. I do like a good old Leo. I have Leo Moon. Mm. That's why I get along pretty fine with Leos. I love Leos. Get along like a house on fire. Yes, so Leo, let's take a look what's going on. Ooh, <clears throat> nice. So Leo looks like um, your money is going to be improving. Um, 
that's going to be raising your status in some way shape or form so perhaps some of you are going to receive a promotion yeah some of you are, <coughs> are being recognized yes and some of you are going to go into a commitment after there's an offer that is being made to you there's a good news that's going to come your way yes and this news is about taking your relationship to the next level so perhaps if you're engaged you're going to get married some of you if you are in a relationship over the weekend darling you might get proposed to or there could be talks of taking it uh, long term you know whatever it is looks like overall it's good news for you darling yeah for the weekend us so over here is uh, saying forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay so keep that in mind do not harbor any resentments whatever has happened has happened you cannot change the past you can only move towards your future and you can only work in your present yes so if you want to change things and how it was done in the past make a change in your present moment so it's also mentioned over here you deserve love you are lovable and definitely you will know that and you will made you should know that and you will be made aware of that once you get this incoming proposal for you over the weekend and perhaps a little beyond so now let's go on to the next sign which could be virgo which is virgo actually <laughs> Did I just say could be? Oh dear God. I hope my brain cells are not expiring. I would need to replace them. I wonder how far the stem cell technology has advanced. Yes. <clears throat> Anyways, so let's go on to Virgo and see what's coming up for you. For the weekend. <clears throat> okay, looks like Virgo. Uh, for the weekend, yeah, you're uh, leaving whatever is not serving you behind. Yes, uh, probably your way down with. A lot of burdens, a lot of problems. You've been carrying something on your shoulders for quite a while. Yes, you're calling on upon your inner strength and your perhaps there could be a bit of confrontation with somebody around you. Or um, there's an inner turmoil, inner confrontation, inner introspection that you're going through. Okay, and um, because you're having a issue with your personal life you feel as though you're the one doing everything and also you're having a issue with your professional life yeah something to do with money you feel as though you're not being paid enough you you're not having a raise your business is not doing well yeah you're feeling a bit of lack in terms of finances yes so over here clearly it's time to be there's somebody around you who's demanding a lot from you yes so you're having a problem uh, to keep up so perhaps over the weekend just relax and take time out and rejuvenate yourself from the week yeah just de-stress yourself and be prepared for the next week but whatever it is yes there's something over here that's troubling you and you're feeling a bit left out and alone yes but pick yourself together and um, keep going there is something perhaps you're demanding from your person yes you're demanding some kind of clarity from your person and your person's perhaps not giving it to you and uh, this is perhaps causing a bit of blockage in between you and your person yes so over here it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so perhaps uh, it's time to look at your partnership from a different perspective and try and understand it better over here it says what waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so perhaps certain things have to take place certain things have to play out in each of your lives and and only then will you all be able to come together so that was for virgo now let's go on to the next sign which is libra let's see libra i'm just hoping to go out. Uh, nothing happens here so I'll, just in case i'll just put that there so let's go on to the next sign, which is Libra. Oh, 
hope you guys are having a lovely weekend, darling. You guys are having a lovely time. That's beautiful in here. So Libra. Let's see what's going on. Okay, you're keeping uh, something quiet with regards to money. Okay, so you may have been working on something over here, but you're not letting anyone know about it. Uh, there is some kind of... Uh, someone also may have been keeping a secret from you, but it has come to light already and... Um, now it's time to confront the situation okay there could be an untowards uh, confrontation between you and your person it's not very good so it's uh, keep your wits about you be calm go cool, collect it do not respond or sorry do not react but remember it's best to respond politely and be uh, uh make a decision with uh, when you have your wits about you okay so over here clearly somebody around you is very arrogant they are uh, uh, pretending to be bigger than what they are actually so they are kind of bullshitting you in some way shape or form about some things about their life yes they're not telling you the whole truth about themselves and uh, perhaps it's time for you to pay attention to that there's a lot of confusion with regards to money yes and uh, um, probably you're uh, trying to understand you know what, what on earth is going on and how you're going to make your way around this how you're going to juggle your ideas juggle your money and work around the situation you know what i mean so um uh, somebody was could be perhaps rushing in towards you okay something is going to happen really fast okay and it's going to finish really fast so there's going to be a swift ending to something perhaps yes so a swift ending to a swift ending to an argument a swift ending to some kind of negative behavior or pattern whatever it is you know your story best okay but nonetheless there'll be a swift ending to something over here so let's see what the romance angels are saying there's a attraction so it says here you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so libra perhaps you need to put down all your worries and start uh, living in the moment yes uh, taking um, account of what you have around you yes uh, enjoy the nature enjoy your presence on earth enjoy your present moment yes and what uh, what you are in at the moment so maybe it's time to flirt maybe it's time to extend your light-hearted energy to others maybe it's time for you to start dating again yes if you feel this thing is going to come to an end over here over the weekend i think very clearly it would do you best to start dating again and flirt <laughs> all right darling that was libra now let's move on to scorpio let's see what's happening for scorpio Okay, Scorpio, let's see uh, what's going on with you. I hope you're able to see your cards a bit better today. Now. Yes. So there you go. Perhaps this is better. <clears throat> so Scorpio. Okay, let's read. So Scorpio looks like... Uh, Maybe you had some kind of confrontation with somebody over here. Whatever it is, it's time for a new beginning. Uh, things are going to change for you over the weekend very quickly. Okay. You're going to listen. Listen. You're going to get some uh, good news. Yeah. You're going to hear about some good news. Oh. Sorry, guys. The wax is falling on the table. So you're going to hear about some good news that's coming your way. Yes, over the weekend and um, perhaps uh, 
you are going to demand some truth so perhaps someone is going to come towards you open up communication apologize try to make small conversation with you about the past and what they've done yeah this was a person you were holding back from for quite a while because expecting them to come towards you and uh, you know be open honest but uh, they will come towards you it's not um, set in stone that they're gonna be speaking the truth but you are definitely demanding the truth you're coming across as um, a person who's not going to accept any kind of bullshit you can cut through the bullshit you can see through all the nonsense and you're expecting nothing but the truth from them yeah it says pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you okay and that you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so scorpio there you go so you can see to the bullshit so i can s tell over here clearly that you you will be able to uh, spot out the red flags in this person does any when they come around and if it's not suiting uh, suiting or if it's not if this person is not speaking the truth for example according to you here you're just you're just going to cut this person out of your life so now that is for scorpio let's move on to sagittarius darlings see what's going on with sagittarius it's a quick read because why it's only the weekend darling only two days yes oh god i get a feeling it's gonna burst again i got a feeling <clears throat> Today's Saturday night. Good God. Oh, let me finish the reading quick. <laughs> Just kidding, darlings. But yes, I've got plans. Yes. So, we're talking about Sagittarius. Okay. Somebody over here is um, <coughs> missing an opportunity. Yes, and... Um, because you're being bored uh, with this opportunity that's being presented to you or you're being you're bored of waiting for somebody over here and you're wanting to move towards your happiness okay this person could be at long distance they could it could involve some kind of travel yes and um, <coughs> perhaps you um, you're bored of waiting you're just going towards your happiness okay so some things have come out to light i can see clearly over here and uh, the news that came out to light it wasn't so amusing <coughs> at all it had you in emotional distress and it kind of like put you off this person completely so that could be one of the reasons some of you would want uh, are going to the beach every day some of you are wanting to relocate towards a beach or lake or something of the sort yes and it's I'm going to make you very happy it's going to bring in the change in energy towards you it's going to make you feel positive and over the moon darling yes and you will be inviting new opportunities as well towards you but this is just two days so darling things could happen very fast and this is just guidance for you so that you know what's coming or what you can do to change it so yeah it is said heart to heart conversations and worth waiting for honestly discuss your feelings with each other divine timing is at work in your love life so perhaps yes it's time to open up conversation to open up communication with this person that you know has been <coughs> hiding uh, and hiding away from you and stuff like that so i think it's time this person needs to open up conversation if not i can see you moving forward okay but whatever is going on over here whatever decisions you have to make whatever path they're going on to etc etc it's all about divine timing everything is happening at the right place at the right time and it's with the protection of gods god now let's move on to the last sign which is capricorn darlings
So Capricorn, let's see. Yes, you're going towards something new. You're learning about new things, okay? And um, you're probably gay, being celebrated in some way, shape or form. Yes, there's a lot of uh, happenings going on. Yes, there's a lot of party. Perhaps you're going to a party tonight like me. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you're being invited to a lot of places, you're going out with friends, probably it's Saturday night, so you're going to go to a club, to a pub, wherever it is, yes, or just enjoy, uh, go to a restaurant and enjoy dinner and drinks with friends and family, yes, whatever it is. So, let's see. Okay, so, there is every sense or every sign of reconciliation over here, darling, okay, um, there's a stability entering your life as well, yes, I can see over here clearly, over the weekend, it is time to take control of your life. There's somebody over here who's very controlling, who's very bossy, who's very arrogant, who's very self-centered, yes, who's very stuck in their ways as well. This person wants to come towards you, they want to express their love towards you, to you, yes, uh, but this person is kind of like a bossy person, uh, so it's um, some, you pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> So if there's some, if this is something that you're not happy with, uh, I can see you can make your own decision but uh, f currently I can see there's no communication but this person is going to open up communication and express their love to you. Over here it says it is time to disconnect from the world. So <clears throat> perhaps it's uh, time to disconnect from uh, outside influences or perhaps you know giving you advice if your friends are giving you advice over your personal life. Uh, I think it's time to Listen to your intuition and take on take on your own advice, okay? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So uh, it is safe for you, oh sorry, express your love. So perhaps someone over here is waiting for you to express your love, but you're not waiting on anyone because uh, especially if you're a woman, I think it's uh, only right that the man expresses their love first, yes? And um, this is just a law of nature. This is, I'm just, a, I'm just giving you my opinion, okay? It's always right if a man expresses his love first and down the line you will avoid a lot of unnecessary rubbish that happens, yes? So there you go. There you go, darling. Capricorn, that was your reading, yes? Now, all signs, thank you for tuning in for your weekend vibes. I hope you enjoyed your short mini reading and... Um, We'll catch up again um, uh, next week for the um, cusp reading. So the next week is fully of cusp, yes, reading. So if you're a cusp, tune in. And if you're dating a cusp, tune in as well. Yes, we will see how it goes. Until we meet again, my darling, sending you lots of love, light and happiness. Take care. I love you. And God bless.